Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cooking video. So we're going to make stir fry, we're gonna make salad. Well, I'm gonna make them um, and then I'm gonna show you how. So I will list the ingredients that you'll need in the description box below. Make sure you have everything that you need and let's cook some stir fry. Let me know if you see any recipes in this video that you would like to get a cook with me style video on because I would love to do another one. I really enjoy making anything cooking or food related because it's one of my favorite activities to be honest so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe so you can always tell when I have a new video coming out okay you guys so I already started cooking but I am making stir fry tonight so we have um, some green beans cooking there and then I've got all the veggies already um, cut up here. Snap peas, onions, um, peppers, um, cauliflower, and broccoli. So I do the veggies in the order that it takes them to cook. So if green beans take the longest to cook, so I do them first. And then I'm going to throw in all of these veggies. It would be better in like a big frying pan, but honestly, we don't have one here. you got to have the heat really high to get a good stir fry going so you got to have a little bit of oil and really high heat to get the veggies like crisp but still crunchy but that's going to cook um, a few minutes not very long because again we want to keep it crunchy keep it crunchy 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 add the mushrooms last they are really soft I'm using minced garlic from a jar so I'll actually put this in last as well if you're using garlic like fresh garlic you'll put it in a little bit after you put in these veggies so but you can see it's so colorful I love stir fry for that reason because it's like super healthy and it's colorful so he just grabbed this at the supermarket. It's just a Korean sesame soy. You can do it with like soy sauce, sesame oil, and um, like garlic and onion and just keep it really simple. But these are kind of fun to add in there. And then we need to do a type of noodle. Let's go with these. Ready to wok medium soft noodles. Let's grab those. Okay, so now the veggies have gotten nice and sauteed. Two tablespoons of water in the pan and then put a lid on it so it's gonna steam the veggies. Then I'm gonna throw in the mushrooms and um, the sauce and then the noodles. And that'll be it. Put them in there and just break them up a little bit. So I'm gonna let them and then stir it all in there. See what I mean by like a little char on them because they get a little char but how delicious does that look But I just realized I am starving because I haven't eaten any dinner. So it's time to make some dinner. Pretty nicely stocked. It's bagels, oat milk, chickpeas, spinach, veggies, all the veggies, um, toast. These are Dan's. He mixes them with rum, butter, yeah, all this. He's got milk and eggs, and I think he has a salmon filet up there. So there's some stuff mixed in here, some vegan cheese for me. Water because we both drink so much water freezer oh you know what i may treat myself because it's thursday i might try this he got this for me the smoking vegan that's what i'll have it looks really good i've never had this brand before all right so we got a baking tray out we're ready i'm gonna wait 
um, till the oven's preheated, and then take it out. No, you gotta start somewhere. Nobody starts perfect, you know? That's what you gotta just do it. You just gotta start, and then you just do it. Yeah. Well, I and, and there's enough people like me out there that you'll be fine. All she ever does is like shop at Walmart and like stay home with her kids. And I watched her. I liked her personality. I wanted to know what happened. And she was relatable. See, that's why I couldn't be a vlogger because I would enjoy my content way more than anyone else would. <laughs> Yeah, cheese on toast, no, not cheese on toast, cheese. <laughs> what is it? Spreadable cheese on crackers with pickled Dresden pickle. It's a thing. This is chunky, this is um, slightly chunky, and this is uh, no pulp. And pickle small chunks. It's kind of like relish, but not. I oh, just need binoculars. You need, to, you need to put it in the magnifying glass. <laughs> Vegetables in variable portions, 51% that is. <laughs> And then it's got 400 ingredients for the other 49. <laughs> there we go. Caramelized onion. Spreadable. What is it? Spreadable cheese. cheese? Made with Scottish cheddar. Mm. How very international of you. Oh my god. So. I treated okay. us to some pad C U for dinner. I didn't thought you went, but I really should know. It's like exactly flat rice noodles and bok choy and peppers and bean sprouts and like a sweet soy sauce. Pad C U. I think your wife is murdered. It's so good. They didn't give me the chopsticks though, y'all. I'm so upset. Dan, but this is definitely my second cup of coffee for the day. So if you want to see how I make this amazing cup of coffee, just keep watching. salad that you're about to see I actually ate just now while I was editing this video and it took me about 10 minutes just because I didn't have the veggies already cooked but if you want to see how I make a quick salad for lunch just keep watching I am making some leftover veggies that we had in the fridge Got some broccoli snap peas um, onions and a little bit of mushrooms just because that's what we had left over in the fridge I want to show you the bowl. I use this bowl right here You need room to like toss your ingredients and everything and salad itself takes up a lot of bowl. so Then in the fridge I you I like to use a combination of lettuces So we're gonna use some iceberg lettuce because this is gonna be your crunch a little bit of water a little bit of crunch you want your other greens to be the dark leafy greens okay because this is where you get your vitamins okay this right here this is delicious it's amazing it's crunchy it's sweet but it has very little nutritional value it doesn't have those vitamins and things in it like these other ones do so you want dark color like dark green and you really want it to be leafy so it needs to look like a leaf 
from a plant. And I do a small handful of each in my big bowl. I'm gonna do some grilled veggies or some sauteed veggies. I'm gonna do some apricots. Chop those up. Let's see what else are we gonna do. Oh, we're gonna use this dressing. This is just a balsamic dressing, which I love. Put that out. I think we're gonna use some, let's see, I think they're in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna use some beetroot, cucumber. just finishing up editing this video and I will tell you as much fun as it was to make and to cook it was even more fun to put it all together so thank you again for watching I really appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it and uh, filming it for you so uh, let me know of course if you like videos like this because I would love to do some more um, but hopefully you made some yummy food or will make some yummy food as a result of this video and I just Hope that in one way or another, I made uh, vegan cooking and healthy cooking a little bit more accessible um, for you know anyone watching this video. So thank you again, and uh, stay tuned for my next video. <laughs>